Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Exilia. So last episode, we found everybody and we're here by Canbalar. Uh, and we need to go inside. But first, I'm actually going to <laughs> update, um, not the weapons this time, but the armor. Because I, while watching uh, last episode back, I was like, oh, I forgot to do this shit. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. And considering we have 99 of these pearls, why not? Actually, with the pearls... Like, thank you for all that. I don't, I wonder what those, uh, one thing the little girls want would be in, you know? Oh, wait, I think I do have a pink emerald. Well, that's a side quest I can actually do. Where the fuck did I get a pink emerald from? Okay, let's see. Um, let's buy you the silver one. Yeah, I'm still... Pretty much one behind, but at least this kind of gets them up. Dual helm uh, is better for here. We'll get we'll get this, and we'll get three of these. Cause apparently that didn't work, or they didn't do that. Sell these three. No, I'm not selling that. So this. Oh really? I thought I could have sworn I got rid of them, but oh well. Rune circulate. That is better for lease. Hang on, hang on. God, I just wasted one for a lease. Oh well, whatever. Let's just head on in and see what Wingle wanted us to do. You've come. So in the end, you've chosen to trust that man. You're more naive than I thought, Maxwell. Tell us what your purpose is for bringing us here. We will stand and fight against those... invaders. If you intend to challenge them yourselves, we won't attempt to stop you. But first, there's something... you need to tell us. I want you to tell us what you know about the schism. What's that? Two millennia ago, I cast the spirit art, Schism. It created a new world and sealed it away. That world is yours. It is known as Riza Maxia. Did Mila just say... that she created the entire world? Wow! She's like a goddess or something! It was for protecting spirits and humans. Riza Maxia is sealed. That implies the existence of another world outside the schism, does it not? Yes. And that world is called Olympias. I was gravely mistaken about the Lance of Kresnik's true purpose. Exodus convinced Noctigal that it was a weapon, but all along they were plotting to create a device that would dispel the schism. Dispel the schism? To what end? I do not know. I wonder if perhaps they were looking for a means to siphon mana back to Olympias. No. All Exodus ever wanted was to go home. Back home to Olympias. It's all we've wanted for more than 20 years since we became trapped in Riza Maxia. We needed to find a way to either break through the schism or dispel it completely. But in order to dispel the schism, they would have to find a way to eliminate its creator. I see. So that's why Exodus kept trying to kill you. It doesn't add up. What is Gillen's master plan? I'm confused. I still don't understand. 
Gillen's actions are not going to get Exodus home any faster. He didn't need to bring the whole Olympian army. In unifying reason, Maxia, that was never our original intention. Gillen must intend to make use of Riza Maxia with the schism intact, but for what purpose? That's it. The Otherworld Reactor Plan. What? Huh? The hell's that? Most folks knew it as the Spirit Fuel Plan. That sounds bad. I remember my cousin telling me about it when I was still a kid back on the other side. Something about capturing spirits and using them as fuel for Spyrexes. So you're saying Gillen's ultimate goal is to corral all the spirits? But that doesn't make sense either. If all he wants is spirits, then why bother with the lies? Unless he's planning on trapping us in Rize Maxia for our mana lobes. He seeks to use the people of Riza Maxia as a power source? The man is insane. Gilland most likely returned to Exodus HQ on the ocean. The Olympian army is with him, so getting there by boat won't be easy. Well then, perhaps we can commandeer one of the flying ships they have docked at Cambalar. Oh yeah, right, because that sounds easy. It may indeed be our only option. Very well. We attack tomorrow. Wait a minute, Gaius. Aren't we gonna team up on this? I mean, we both want the same thing, so... It's not a social gathering. Just how stupid are you anyway? It was Maxwell who created the schism, and trapped us all inside of it in the first place. Imprisonment is not so easily forgiven. It's entirely possible. We may end up fighting each other again. I'm sure you can understand why we're not ready to get all buddy-buddy with you. Like I said, do what you want. Just make sure to stay out of our way. Can you believe it? The nerve of those guys! They must be shorthanded. Why else would they share that kind of information with us? Despite what they said, I still believe that they are counting on all of us. For now, at least. Presa was just like, I'm going to flaunt my hips whenever I walk around and a skit. Perhaps this is the opportunity to speak to Wingle that I've been waiting for. Apparently, he wants to speak with Wingle. Well, uh, they kind of disappeared over here, which we're not allowed to go. There are two rooms on the second floor. Lord Wing Wingle, <laughs> my bad, invites you to use them as you see fit. Well, thank you. We can live in this beautiful chapel thing, I think. I mean, that's what it looks like. It's pretty neat, though. Uh, let's see. What do you have to say, Rowan, actually? M it may take a little time for me to process this information. Well, sorry about that. I'll go alone if I have to. Alvin, we've already told you you're coming with us. Just shut up. Guys and his Kimiri Yiri, <laughs> whatever they think they're such hot stuff, come tomorrow, we'll wipe the, the smirks off their faces. Actually, Leia, I don't think you can take one of them on yourself. Uh... Well, I don't, I don't think any of us could it right now. We're not that strong, to be honest. I'm so tired. So much has happened. Well, at least go to sleep. We need to rest in preparation for tomorrow. Okay, fine. They're, they're telling us to rest. Let's head upstairs then. Is this the right room? Nope. I think that's the ladies' room, actually. My bad. The ladies' room as in where the, the ladies sleep. Not the bathroom. There's no bathrooms in this place. They never need to use the bathroom, so. I guess we'll just rest here, I guess. Might as well.
You wander off again? Sorry to wake you, kid. You didn't. I can't sleep. So what happened with you today? What's with this sudden interrogation? You just have me worried, is all. Do you still want to go back home to Olympias? <sighs> Worry about your own problems, kid. Hmm? You want to protect Mila, right? No, she can protect herself. I just want to make sure she wins. I think that's the kind of help she needs most. Huh. So you want to stay with her forever, then? What? Alv... What are you talking about? You won't have any reason to stay with her once this is all over, you know. I know. If you don't tell her how you really feel... Someone else will beat you to the punch. You can't just count on destiny to work everything out for you. Fate doesn't have your back. Yeah, I know. I just... Maybe I need more time. You really do listen to everything I say, don't you? Huh? Nighty-night, kid. You know, he probably can't sleep because you're not using the blankets. Like, there, there are blankets for a reason. And also, Alvin is depressed as hell right now. Poor guy. Hi, Mila. What are you doing up at this hour? Can't sleep? No. <laughs> me neither. You don't want to ask me anything about what I revealed earlier today? No, no. You did the right thing. The just thing. At least I hope so. Justice is a complicated concept. It means different things to different people. And what is justice to you? <laughs> I thought this wasn't a social gathering. Answer me, Maxwell. It is the power of will that resides within one's heart. <laughs> in this, we are both in agreement. Those with this willpower bear a responsibility to this world. The strong must protect and guide the weak. Gaius, weakness isn't an affliction of the body, but of the heart. The world will always have weak-willed people, but that in itself isn't a bad thing. Then we must protect the weak until they can become strong. That is our duty. We? Yes. All who are strong must look after the weak. It is the only way to ensure that future generations will have sufficient strength as well. So that's your solution to the problem I posed in Fezabel Marsh. As I told you then, I can chart a new future for mankind, if I just have enough power. But if a man like Gillen takes the stage, a man who can only use power for his own gain, then mankind will be doomed to repeat the same mistakes. I see. But I'm afraid it's not up to me to approve your answer. Your concept of justice is your own. It's not my place to interfere. <laughs> As you say. The two of you sure are alike. How so? No matter how extreme her words are, I think there's always truth to them. I get the same sense from you. Do you want to be like Maxwell? I wouldn't mind it, although I know that's impossible. I see. We should probably get some rest. Yes. The showdown's tomorrow. Ah, oh, damn. I can't pause. Shoot. Okay, now I can. I'll be right back. Sorry, my dog has to go outside. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Although, it'll only be like a second for you anyway. Um, hang on. Kind of put my mic on funny. There we go. All right, let's head back down. 
and see what is up. I think, I think we just have to go outside, yeah. Nobody's in here. There's no point. How do you intend to hijack a ship that's docked in the sky? We'll use the wyverns in the castle. You have to get there first. I have no intention of sneaking into my own castle. We shall march up the main road and reclaim it. What? You can't be serious! Indeed. At the very least, you should split into two groups. Create a diversion. Keep your tactics to yourself, you old fart! Jude, do you know what you have to do? Of course. I have to help Mila win. It's that simple. Then let's go. There's a path leading into the city off the side of the temple. Oh! Why can't we all stick together? <laughs> what shall we do? Let's see. We can take that side path from the temple into the city, then move along the roofs to the castle. From there, we can both capture the flying battleship and retake the castle and its soldiers. Meanwhile, Gaius and the others will create their diversion. Sure would be nice if they let us in on their plan for once. Anyway, let's go. You got it. Uh -huh, we're gonna be roof people. Okay, we have to head up this way. Aw, skit. Uh, my neck is killing me. Did you sleep on it wrong? No, it's been this way since I was swept into the Fezabel marsh flow. I have a poultice you can use, although it was intended for lower back pain. Jude, it's pretty faint, but I think there's a footprint on your face. Huh. I did have a dream that Agria was repeatedly stomping my head. From the size and shape of that footprint, it would seem that dream was no dream at all. What is wrong with her? Why would she do that? Maybe she was trying to apologize, saying we got off on the wrong foot? Oh dear. <laughs> I'm going to chalk this one up to a concussion. You don't know how close you just came to getting another boot in your face. Yeah, <laughs> I love that, dude. That was great. I'm sorry for getting you tangled up in this war. Not at all. I welcome the opportunity. As a spirit, I can never forgive those who use Spyrex. It is good to have your strength on our side. You have my gratitude. Your gratitude? As a big sister, what choice do I have but to keep my little sister out of trouble? A bit condescending, aren't we? Ah, isn't it wonderful to have a family? Is that what we are? It would seem so. Oh my god, another one. How long do you intend to accompany us? However long I must. It is my duty to serve Lord Maxwell in the eradication of this Exodus group of Spyrex users. I don't recall ordering that. Your memories are your own, but it is the truth. Regardless, it sure is good to have a great spirit on our side. Yes. And I would be most grateful if you would continue to direct Tether with me. I knew it. You really are in that kind of relationship. But I... Why won't anyone explain this to me? Jude, you need to learn these things on your own. Oh my god. Hmm. Don't! Don't stare at me like that! What exactly is this strange object that is speaking to me? Strange? Strange? Maybe you should take a peek in the mirror, weirdo! Oh my. Rude as well as strange. I cannot say that I am fond of it. The mean spirit lady is calling me rude! Tipo, are you okay? Wow, she can even frazzle Tipo. I bet she really is stronger than Mila. It's her natural obliviousness that makes her so formidable. Unless that's just an act. Although that would be even scarier. That's no act. She is Mila's sister, after all. And you just say that in front of me? Who's the oblivious one now? So you've lost the four and gathered these strange humans in their place. What a peculiar choice. And my band of strange companions keeps growing. 
Oh my goodness gracious, more skits. Can I ask a question? What is it? It's... it's about Zhao. Do you know why he saved Elise? A difficult question. I could speculate, but we'd have no way of knowing if I was right. It looked to me like he sacrificed himself to honor a vow he had made. But what sort of vow and to whom, I couldn't begin to guess. So nobody knows. Why not ask the other members of the Chimeriad? They would know Zhao better than we do. But they're so scary. You guys do it! That could certainly be arranged. However... Would you be satisfied with an answer that you didn't find for yourself? That's true. I don't know. Are we done? Are we done with all this? Can we move on? I think we can move on finally. Let's do it. And we got epic music to boot. Alright, so we don't need to go that way. And there's obviously enemies on the roof because I don't know. God damn it. They just for some reason were like, you know, we need to protect these roofs. I have a feeling that people will come up and they will start attacking us from the roof. We need to defend this. Like, who would just think to put soldiers on the roof? All this lag. Oh my goodness. Oh god. This is bad lag. I'm gonna try and avoid the rest of these battles. Holy crap. I don't know what it is about this place and this lag. Oh, I still really hate that patch. Everything's perfectly fine until that patch many, many a months ago. No, no clue what time it's at anyway because I was gone for maybe five minutes or something. I don't know. My dog took his time and stared out into the neighbor's yard for about a few minutes and then finally decided to do the business. Well, sure is getting heavy. Perfect weather for an infiltration. Well, there you go. If you ever want to infiltrate a place, just do it when it's snowing heavily. Oh, I don't want to fight you. Okay, scene. <laughs> Everyone, get down. He sure is strong. You could say that again. Jude, behind you. Huh? <laughs> You gonna gonk all day, kid? Let's go. All right. I'll gawk all day, though. Um... I think we came out from that direction, so let's head this way. Okay, can I not head this way? Oh, wow, I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> That's dumb of me. <laughs> I can't go that way in general. I... No, I'm going the wrong way. Shit. Damn it. Yeah, now I see why. I'm running from you. I don't want to fight you. Get out of the doorway. Shit. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I guess we're fighting these guys. Uh, bring on the lag. I can already feel it. Oh man, it's like I'm playing a multiplayer match and it's just like... Fuck you, everything's in slow-mo. At least I don't desync or anything like that. God, oh god, this is so bad. Oh, there's oh, in Tales of Silly 2, there was only one battle where I experienced extreme amount of lag. Not like 50 of them, or a few places in general, because this is just horrible. Oh yeah, that's the new move that Elise learned. It's so great. Uh, can I have her? So it, it's uh, Dreadwings, which I really like it. That's her Mystic Art, by the way. I'm just going to have her use it, because why not? Go ahead, Elise. Do your... No nope, never mind. She got hit by fire, even so Mila was protecting her. Oh, I'm going to switch to Mila for uh, linking. I totally forgot to do that. The last episode I had, the it was just really weird. Um, the party got really mixed up, so I had to fix that. Although it only takes a few seconds, but... Now let's head up this way, avoid you, because you're just gonna lag like a son of a bit. Freezing. There's so much snow, I can't even tell where we're going. Right direction or not, we better keep moving before we- Mila, It's not, it's not that bad with the, the direction, I mean, you can still see, I was just 
looking at the map wrong when I got lost, so. They appear to be struggling. Shouldn't we help them? Uh, their diversion will be for naught if we join them. We have to save his highness. Don't let them lay a finger on his highness or the civilians! The people really do love him. If I'm not mistaken, your job here is still to help Mila win. That's right. Let's go, Leia. Gotcha. Let's go. I would protect Gaius in an instant, although I know that, you know, his diversion would be for naught, like Mila said. We have to jump down here. I was... Oh, that's a longer jump than I was expecting. But okay. We have to jump down in this area anyway. <laughs> This is going to be kind of long, um, that I know because, uh, there's going to be a lot of scenes and I don't, you know, so I might have to split up the episode again, not sure, depends, I'll think about it, I still don't know the exact time anyway since I have to edit out the part of me going away, uh, I do that right after because I always have to watch the episode right after I finish it to make sure that there's no audio problems or if I have to redo the episode or anything like that. So that's when I do my cutting out thing so I don't forget, because normally I do. So yeah, hang on, I need to adjust my mic. Come on, how many soldiers does this tub carry? Let's split into two groups. One group can run over to the bridge and bring the ship to ground level. Good idea. That way, Gaius and his crew can reinforce us. Then we can break through these troops. All right, then the question is who shall go? I'm gonna stay here and fight. Mila, you should go. Are you sure, Jude? <laughs> I couldn't help overhearing your plan with these perfect ears of mine. Isn't that... Ivor? <laughs> oh, wow. That idiot survived. Hit the showers, fraud. The curtain just closed on you. I'm the new star of the show now. Thanks, Ivor. I'll rest. I could use a breather. No, 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 no! This is all wrong! Now you're supposed to explode into a jealous rage! Uh... Okay, in that case... I'll take care of it. Ha! You think I'm just gonna let you play the hero? Gangway! You've gotten pretty good at handling him. Nah, that just kind of popped into my head. Well, he totally ignored Mila this time. Maybe he's obsessed with you now, Jude. But if he pulls his own weight, I have no complaint. Anyway, let's go. Ivor the spider, <laughs> my god. Uh, gotta love Ivor, although I like how his huge bump on his forehead disappeared. Jude should have been a little bit more dramatic though. He should have been like, how dare you insist that I take a break. I think that would have been more funny. So that's just my opinion, he, he, did his, he did his deed and set off Ivor. I know, isn't that great? Finally. 
I have seized control of the ship. Drop your weapons and surrender. Ivor, set us down on the ground. What do you think I'm trying to do? Fly loop-de-loops? Uh, this button maybe? Uh, no? Hmm. This must be it. Idiot. What'd he do this time? Hopeless as usual. Quite a predicament. Can you tell us anything about these things? Now's hardly the time to chat. You're under attack. Thanks so much, Muse. That I think we can tell that we're under attack. You're just like Ivor in a certain sense. Although you're more he, tr he actually tries. She just purposely doesn't. Here, M Muse, you know what? Attack things with your hair. Attack things with your hair. I think she should have had a different ability or, or something to help out instead of doing that, but... Or had multiple things. I don't know, that would have been cool. Apparently her hair deals all elemental damage, so... I don't know how that works out, but apparently it doesn't. No snap. Don't worry, Mila. At least has got your back. Can you kill this one? Maybe? Come on. 48 health. There we go. Last one will be a goner now. Aw, oh, look at Elise helping out and me attacking the air because I suck and just have the worst aim possible. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful. I can still do better. Ooh, and I gain a level up. Sweet. Elise almost did, but... She wasn't close enough, I'm afraid. Glad that's over. We'll take over from here. Gaius probably didn't need us after all. Lady Mila, are you unharmed? Yes, thanks to everyone but you. What? The ship is ours! <laughs> Let's return to the castle. Here, let me help you up. He didn't even take her hand. How long until we can set sail? I have every available man working to get the ship's systems under control. It may take a few hours. Looks like we still have some time. Let's rest until then. Well... Look at Ivor working out. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. So I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!